Uh, what are you expecting, uh, given, if anything, still uh, the jury's out on the politics, but the reports continue apace? We will be concentrating on reporting season, but the leads are looking good for the Australian market so far. We saw the US market jumping on the back of those job numbers and the, I guess testing important psychological levels. The Dow once again closing below that psychologically important 13,000 mark and the S&P 500 also hitting resistance levels as well. But still the US market's up by 0.4%, so a positive lead there. Energy is going to be the sector to watch. We saw oil prices once again hitting a nine-month high. We also saw gold and silver doing well, in fact, hitting the high close closing price uh, that we've seen for both gold and silver in 2012 so far but base metals were low and that could be a little bit of a drag on the market but it does look like a lot of investors still choosing to stay on the sidelines and one of the trends that we've seen over the last 18 months is demand for fixed interest products and that has continued into 2012 we've seen colonial first state the subordinated notes they were planning to raise 500 million dollars and it looks like they've managed to raise double that at one billion dollars uh, the, the rate there 325 basis points above the bank bill swap rate but it does look like even at one billion dollars that issue had to be scaled back so a lot of demand for these fixed interest uh, products but altogether it does look like the Aussie market itself looking to test that 200 day moving average once again and we've just been hitting up against that resistance mark all week. Julia let's get stock specific NAB's UK operations uh, ratings watch there so what indeed are the expectations that might flow? We have uh, seen Moody's warning that it may downgrade the Clydesdale operations once again. Of course, last September we saw uh, Clydesdale being downgraded, the senior notes moving from a rating of uh, A1 down to A2. But it does look like the review that NAB has announced earlier this month won't have much of an impact on Moody, what Moody sees as Clydesdale credit rating. And back in September, it downgraded uh, Moody's senior debt, saying that NAB's less likely to support uh, this business. Of course, there's been a lot of speculation that we could see the UK businesses being sold off and we if we do actually see an announcement like that that would be a huge positive for the share price the UK business has been a drag on NAB and if we do see that business being sold off that would add to earnings per share by around about three percent and return on equity by around about one percent not to mention the capital that would be freed up and would see about three to four billion dollars worth of capital being freed up and that could result in a share buyback so NAB very much in focus because of that Clydesdale bank of course, the UK operations have been a thorn in its side, but um, the market hoping for a divestment of those businesses, and that would account for a huge re-rating, a positive re-rating in NAB shares.